everyone missed sick message to Melania hiding right behind Trump's bloody head Griffin was holding. Liberal comedian Kathy Griffin thought she'd be cute and pose with a severed head of President Trump in a lame and desperate publicity stunt to resurrect her dying career. But 24 hours after her vile ISIS-like images went viral across the internet, a sickening new detail has just emerged about why she did it, that's sure to put the entire Trump family on edge even more, as the Secret Service scrambles to up their security while looking into Griffin's disgusting threats. It's truly vile how low the left will go in order to harass the Trump family. Griffin has relentlessly singled out Trump and his family ever since he got into office, where she physically threatened to beat Baron Trump back in December. I'm happy to deliver a beat down to Donald Trump and also to Baron, Griffin said, the vulture reported. You know a lot of comics are going to go hard for Donald, my edge is that I'll go direct for Baron. I'm going to get in ahead of the game. While performing in Boston, she made fun of Barron, saying that the 10-year-old was dead behind the eyes. Barron was yet again caught in the disgusting crosshairs of the left, as we're now learning the heart-wrenching details of how Barron thought the decapitated images on the television were real, believing that something terrible had happened to his father, and began hysterically screaming for his mother. TMZ reported, Barron Trump was watching television Tuesday at home with Melania when Kathy Griffin's photo appeared on the screen and his initial reaction was that something terrible happened to his father. Trump family sources tell us Barron was in front of the TV watching a show when the news came on and he saw the bloody, beheaded image. We're told he panicked and screamed, Mommy, Mommy. While Griffin is probably celebrating over her latest success to traumatize President Trump's 10-year-old child yet again, a sickening new detail about her video has just been revealed, showing how this premeditated stun was all to target Melania Trump. We all remember the hilarious way that Melania trolled liberals during the second presidential debate, where she wore a fuchsia blouse called a PSS wipeout out right in the midst of the huge controversy where Trump talked about grabbing women by the PSS wipe. After taking a closer look at Griffin's beheading images, it's clear now that she was not only targeting the President of the United States, but our First Lady too, as Griffin was wearing an exact replica of Melania's blouse, only in a blue color. Since the barrage of negative press and backlash over the images, Griffin has been desperate to do damage control, issuing an apology on Wednesday that was just as fake as CNN. Trying to downplay the incident, making it appear as though it was just a random comedic act, she demanded that America simply forgive her because she's a comedian, excusing her behavior as simply comedy. But Griffin's lame excuse of the pictures being spontaneous comedy was a big fat light as every detail of her video was meticulously planned out before even being filmed, down the detail of the p asterisk ss wipeout blouse she used to mercilessly mock and target our first lady. Donald Trump Jr. pointed out the startling hypocrisy of the left, who seem perfectly fine with liberals continuing to make terroristic threats towards the President of the United States. Disgusting but not surprising, he tweeted. This is the left today. They consider this acceptable. Imagine I and half a conservative did this to Obama as POTUS. This is absolutely sickening, and it's great to see that karma is already smacking this woman right across her ugly freckled face. On Wednesday, CNN terminated its agreement with Griffin to appear on their annual New Year's Eve program, and Squatty Potty Chief Executive Officer Bobby Edwards announced his company is dropping their endorsement, calling the comedian's antics deeply inappropriate. It was deeply inappropriate and runs contrary to the core values our company stands for, Squatty Potty Chief Executive Officer Bobby Edwards said in a statement. We have acted swiftly and decisively to demonstrate our commitment to a culture of decency, civility, and tolerance. Griffin's photos also gained the attention of the Secret Service, with the agency tweeting late Tuesday that threats made against at Secret Service protectees receive the highest priority of all of our investigations. It's obvious that the left will not be satisfied until Trump is assassinated or impeached. Their vitriol will only continue to increase, as they still cannot come to terms with the fact that Hillary Clinton lost the election. But what's a new low even for liberals is that they'd hijack ISIS's barbaric methods in order to get their depraved sentiments across. H slash TCNN, Truth Feed. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.